Welcome to the biggest track on the circuit, Armory Digital Super Speedway for 48 laps. Preston Cope and last week's winner Michael Logan are on the front row for tonight's event. Jack is back with us once again. Welcome, Jack. Hola. Should be a pretty interesting race. We've seen a, a lot of barrel rolls, wrecks, close finishes here, so it's definitely going to be fun. They get a little bit of everything at this track. Yeah. Three wide racing, four wide racing, maybe even five wide. They have enough space, so. Yeah, there's enough space for anything here. Um, like I said, this is the longest track. It's a 2.6 mile. It's just slightly bigger than... I know Talia got 2.6 as well, but I think it's the Hundreds is larger than uh, Talia. Yeah, this track is just ever so slightly bigger than Talia. So, we should have... So some great racing. Here we go. To get the engines fired, and then we'll start racing. Drivers, start your engines! So the engines have been fired. This is Preston Cope's second poll of the season. His last poll was at Denver, where he was very poor at. He started on pole and went straight to the back. Did your screen share froze or something? I don't know why. Okay. Can you see it? I can see your screen moving. I just can't see the game yet. So open the game. I'm on the game. <laughs> I can't see the game. Okay, hang on. Do I even have it on? I do. Hang on. Sorry guys, this this happens all the time. No, it doesn't what happens all the time is someone is yeah. isn't able to like, start the race. Alright, now you should be able to see it. Yeah, I see it. So Pace Car is bringing the cars off of Pit Road onto the track and Press the cope lead him to the green flag. Uh, let's just make sure. Let's just make sure that nobody. Oh, had good that lord! Issue. It's gonna do this again, isn't it? Oh, it's this thing. Uh, oh boy! Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Should we just not right. use the? No, it's just hang on. It's just when we race at big tracks. Big tracks and super speedway bodies on this game do not work very well. Just letting you guys know. But we should be okay. So this is going to be a pretty fun race. Uh, Connor, uh, Connor Hudson, who starts in fourth, he's had a major barrel roll here before. So we'll see if he can uh, do anything tonight. A anybody can win this race. So don't count anybody where out. You start, you can run pretty much anywhere too and kind yeah. of get my mind up but obviously the bottom line is the best here we go coming to the green flag Preston Cope and Michael Logan will lead us to the green 48 laps stage break at lap 24 we're underway here at Armor Digital whatever you did just completely remove the stands I know I can't just I'd rather have no stands than no race it's a good, that's true. Good restart for Preston Cope. He'll take the lead off of turn number two. They're already three wide. Ethan Lara looking to the inside of Benson Pedden. Looks like he doesn't have any help. Down into turn number three for the first time. They're four wide already. That's what you're going to see, a lot of four wide racing, and that will definitely cause wrecks if we do see one. That's going to be the reason why, and we're going to have to be three wide for the lead as we glitch out <laughs> coming to the end of the first lap. <laughs> Preston Cope I guess it. it doesn't. I guess it doesn't even matter whether we have the stands or not. Yeah, it's just... It's still going to happen, so... This game does not like the super speedway bodies, I'll tell you that right now. The game does Chris not like them. the wall. Yeah, Chris Lee into the wall. Looks like the pack's kind of separating back here a little bit. That's the movement, four wide. Maybe these guys back here are just kind of waiting it out to see if there's a wreck. 
they're, they're gonna wreck themselves if they're not careful. Bottom line, where you ever wanna be. Yeah, you always wanna be in that bottom. And for the lead, Brian Lilly has taken it. Jackson Steiner, your points leader, in third now. Is there four by four in the back? Almost five wide there in the middle of the pack. This looks so ridiculous. It looks like the flag guy is just standing in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Mason Tyler coming for the third spot is for the lead. Ethan Lara looking for it. He's trying to get his uh, second career win, second of the season. And Mason Tyler, who won two races ago, is going to look three wide for the lead. He's got Joseph Costello right behind him. No, Jordan Strunk drives it to the inside of him. And we're three by three. And then back here, we're four by four. These guys are all over the place. I don't care if it does this every once in a while, as long as it doesn't crash my game. <laughs> then we're going to have a problem. If it crashes the game, we're going to have to just start the race over. Yeah, the flag man is just flying up there. <laughs> is a mess. Two by two up front. Lara trying to hold off Mason Tyler. Jordan's drunk back there. Here comes Connor DaCosta up the front. We've seen this before. Let's hope he doesn't get into a wreck this time. No help on the bottom as these guys go around the outside of him. I think I the bottom nice might be the one spot where you don't really need that much help. Yeah, see in the corners, yeah, you can just drive right to the inside of everybody. Really going on the inside and you can just take pull up closer to the front oh Jesus God. <laughs> we should not have run these bodies period I hate them so much I don't know why the game doesn't like them at all up front Ethan Law has actually been contending on the outside, he's been side by side with Mason Tyler for about two laps now. We're gonna try to stick with onboard cameras as much as possible this race. <laughs> he's got help up top. Much. This is, as I was saying, this is an important battle right here because these two are fighting for the or for. Since they both have wins. See where they are in points right now. The 89. Eighth in points. Lamar is 11th in points, so he's more on the edge of the playoffs. Yeah. Connor DaCosta going uh, to the lead. Front. He went three wide with help from Caleb Nelson, and the 94 is now out front, but we're four wide. Look at Caleb N Nelson get pushed to the middle. Cameron Caldwell now on the inside. Lara again on the outside holding on up there. He almost cleared the 94 there on the entry to the corner and he did. That 44 looks really fast up on the top there. He's got a good car for sure. He holds on the lead now as the cars have a seizure down the front straightaway. Caught up in the I'll wall. Stop using the Package. 47 up in the wall that forced them five wide to get around him. It's the 47 of Noel Rivera, and he's going to check up the field back here. Your game's going to crash if they wreck. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, if they wreck, they'll take some cars out of the picture. <laughs> Maybe it'll help I don't a little think bit. It means anything. Okay, the helicopter view doesn't do it, so we'll try to stick to this too. Four wide down there. Tony Peterson with help from Colin Cope. He's starting to move his way up. But Ethan Lara continuing to lead. Now Jack wants to know where, er, Joseph wants to know where he's in points. Is it, oh no. Uh, Five wide. Say. The 10 okay. in the middle. It's better than what it usually is. He's 14th in points. All right, there you go, Joseph, you're 14th. Still almost five wide. Yeah, they the are almost car there. Had the cut below the apron, or he almost had two tires below the line. Sorry, guys, about all this like messing up with the graphics and stuff. I, I don't know why it does this. 
I try to fix it, but it's nothing helps. The best thing to do is just not use it anymore. Yeah. Up front Cameron Caldwell still trying to get past the 44. Now Cameron Lara trying to take second away to be behind his brother who is out front right now. Might as well just turn the stands back on because I don't really think there's a difference. Alright. There we go. It's better. Now it doesn't look like the track's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. <laughs> and the uh the flag man will actually have somewhere to stand now. Yeah. Down the inside lane, they're starting to get formed up, but up front, the Lara brothers are continuing to run very well, especially the Ethan. And now for second, Cam Cameron Lara is going to have a battle from Caleb Nelson down in the bottom, along with another rookie, Michael Logan, who got his first career win last week at Eldora. He had come close to that first career win a uh, few times this season, yeah. so... For him to win, especially when you're winning in a, in a crazy, crazy race like Eldora was. Oh, yeah. We might have a battle for the lead now. Now Ethan Lara's going to have to hold off Caleb Nelson. He has his brother to push him. And actually, guys, it, it looks like the thing is kind of like a little messed up with the graphics. It's kind of like toned down. I didn't see a single one that whole lap. <laughs> Maybe the stance we'll helped. It. Okay, I won't jinx it. And Ethan Lara not going to have any help on the top. They're all just kind of like disformed up there. The inside lane has a really good push, and now Michael Logan's going to go to the inside of the three. There was a slight one there, but it wasn't that bad. We're four wide. Again, here comes Chris Lilly on the inside, and the 87 into the wall now. Got a couple bumps, too, from the other side, so. Yeah. Oh, watch out. He almost wrecked there. Way in the back, Connor Hudson is off the pace along with the 16 and the 46. But up front, we're starting to get pretty dicey. They're four wide here in the top five. Michael Logan. I'm going to count those guys in the back out of it, especially since they're just yeah. racing so tightly together. Look at this. They're five wide if right they, here. If they wreck, then those guys in the back would be perfect because they can make it through. Nathan Inman. Now out front, Michael Gaston on the inside there. Three by three here in the front, Chris Lilly behind the 81. And he is pushing him to the front now. Here on lap 12. Now the top two single file, will Chris Lilly make a move? On the 81 here, going into turn three. I think we lost Jack, guys. I think we lost him. Okay, I lost connection. Oh, for okay, yep. you're back. Chris Lilly now going to go to the front of the pack in the Mike and Ike 53. Brody Kupski now to the inside for second. Chris won the first restrictor plate race of the year at Daytona. Ethan Lara is still hanging on up here. He's still in the top five. Four wide for third. I'm going to the 53 get all the way back up to the front, too, because last I saw him, he was kind of in the back. Yeah, that inside so lane got a really big push. Yeah, that inside definitely took off. I see some guys that were, they were like almost at the back of the field, yeah. and then they just ran low, and now they're up here in the mix. So. Jack Mitchell's up there. The 47 who got in the wall earlier, we were earlier is back up here. And we're four for wide again. Five wide here in the middle. The 25, the 10, the 89, they're getting really close. They got to watch out here. They're five wide back there with the 97 and the 42 as well. Some guys are up there in points. They, they cannot, they cannot, uh, 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 they can't afford to wreck. Yeah, they can't afford to wreck here. Up front, Chris Lilly trying to hold off Nathan Emmett on the inside. So you had just Contact. lost the points lead. Some guys went up in the wall there. So he had the points lead before this weekend, but then he lost, lost it to Jackson order. Steiner, and he actually dropped all the way back to third. Jake Gozlin now in second. Gozlin, we haven't seen much of him this race as well. He's been in the back most of the race. I haven't seen much of him really that much out of these last few races. So. Yeah, he's been kind of just there. Like he was in the he's beginning of the season, he was really good. And here comes Pit Stops early in stage number one. About halfway through stage number one, we're going to see some cars come to Pit Road here. 
see now what the better timing is for these pit stops. It's a huge track, so you want to pit at the right time or you're, yeah. you're going to have a really hard time getting back up on the lead lap. Dylan Fox, Matthew Dutcher, Colin McCoy, and others come to pit road. The leader now is Nathan Inman. We'll see who else comes to pit road this time. See how empty the track is now with all those cars coming off on the pit road. Yeah, that's about 10 or 11 cars there. This shows you how much of a difference there is. To do the racing can be. Speaking of the racing, here comes a 53 for the lead on the inside. We'll see if he comes to pit road though. And he will. Oh, he almost lost it there. He got really sideways coming to pit road. Lily will bring it down along with Ethan Lara, Michael Gaston, Brody Kupski, Caleb Nelson, Mason Tyler, Nick Bingham, Jack Mitchell, Cameron Lara. This is the biggest we've seen. It's the biggest pack we've seen on pit road yet. This is most of the field. Then about I think ten or so cars are still on the track. Nathan Newman still isn't gone to Rivera. About seven cars are still on the track. Pit stops could win people the stage, so you want to yeah. be careful here. You don't want to lose the draft. You want to come out with somebody and have a drafting partner or a pack. I believe Chris Lilly won the race off pit road there on that little pack. We'll see who comes pit road this time by. Here comes Rivera. Inman, and Strunk, then. Steiner, these guys hit it. so that's the last group of the guys. The first person that came down was the 9, so we'll see where he is compared to the Chris Lilly who is coming out now. It should be right with him, I think. We'll see where guys like Jordan Strunk end out here. He was the leader when he came to pit road. Right now, double zero is still being scored the leader. Just because these guys they're haven't gonna, came around yet. Yeah, they're going to give it to the 53. So Chris Lilly will be your leader coming back around here, but we'll see who comes off pit road first here. Jordan Strunk is coming off. We'll see if he can beat Chris Lilly on the onto the track. Chris Lilly's back there and that other neon Actually, green car. Still hasn't scored him as the leader. Not like giving I know, a 16, but again, just hasn't come, he's, has, hasn't come around yet, so. They come around, Jordan Strunk beat Chris Lilly out. So he's going to be all by himself up here. So this pack right here should probably catch him. Chris Lilly is leading this pack. I believe this pack right here and then the 98 will probably battle for the stage win at lap 24. Only eight laps to that. Now seven. They're going to catch this 98 pretty quick. They're going to catch him probably this corner. They will for sure. In these next few laps. Jordan Strunk actually got his first career win at this track in season five. So look for him to... Try to get another win here. That actually is his only win. And here they come. They're going to catch him here and they're going to go right by him. Unless he tries to block the 53. Which he will try to do, but he's not going to be able to do it. So they'll merge in with this pack here. There's a big pack back here. We'll see if those guys can catch up with these seven or so. And these maybe guys are, battle. Just, are just behind the lead pack that has yeah. Chris Lilly and all those other guys. They're about so. three seconds back. From them. Are for the stage in that backpack as well, so three wide backpack. up here for the lead. Might also have some hard racing. Well, contact between the 53 and the 98. And they're racing pretty hard here, side by side for the lead with Noel Rivera and the 90 or and the double zero of Nathan Inman. Well, Rivera is a guy we should keep an eye on for this too. He qualified second at Daytona, so he definitely knows what he's doing at these pit tracks. Yeah, this is his first race at this track he's doing very well he got into the wall earlier in the race and fell back but he has charged back up and he is now the leader as we're gonna come to five laps Shows to go you. in you stage never one count anyone out of it perfect proof right there Jerry Bokanowski is way off the pace here he must have had a bad pit stop he is in dead last right now no nobody has a lap down everybody is still on the lead lap 
better be careful, though. He doesn't want to fall a lap down. Yeah, he is um, coming off of turn four. These guys are coming down the back straightaway, so I think he'll be fine. He's got yeah, a big gap. I don't think they're going to catch him no. by the caution, but... Here comes Gaston for the lead. Have to be careful. Chris Lilly's going to go three wide. Michael Gaston has been kind of off the last couple races. He hasn't been running very well. After that stellar rookie season, he had four wins. Almost made the play uh, the final four in the playoffs. That was kind of a disappointment. He, he fell just short of the final four. So. Yeah. See, he hasn't really been able to make that much noise yet, but... Yeah, I believe he has not won a race yet this season, so... No, he hasn't, his first win. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. And yeah. Although a lot of guys want to remain consistent the whole way through. It's kind of hard to. Still, we're just now kind of getting into like the big middle part of the season. So yeah. This is race number 12. This is when a lot of guys start to show up. So we'll see if anyone can do anything here to get themselves into a playoff spot into that top 12. Yeah, Chris Lilly is still the only two-time winner this season. So... The points leader doesn't even have a win, so it kind of shows consistency is better than just winning, if you think about it, for points we, we have a champion that doesn't have a win. Yeah. Either, so, yeah. Just 47 goes high and we're four wide. Look at the 28 going three wide, or four wide. I think the 47 might have missed a shift there or something, because he well, just he missed really a shift. Off <laughs> You're in the same gear all the way around. I, mean, I don't know what I meant. Yeah. Matthew Dutcher has been... Probably the most disappointing driver this season. He ran pretty well last season. He was okay. Then his rookie season, he was ran pretty well. But this season, he's just been a win before really he bad. Was a rookie. He, he was racing part time and got a win at Talladega. Yeah. But ever, ever since then, it's just been downhill for him. So he wants to bounce back. He's running very well today at the end of this pack. But he has a chance to get the stage win if these guys up here battle. They're still side by side for the lead. Chris Lowe is trying to take it from Michael Gaston. Has become to two laps to go in the stage. Aston barely led that lap, but with a head, oh, with a full head of steam right here. You actually are getting kind of close to that 36. They could get him a lap down. No, uh, he's still way up there. I don't think they're gonna get him. I think the, nine, the 36. I don't know if this will happen either, but I think the 36 is just hoping it doesn't come to a point where he gets trapped in front of the lead cars. Yeah. Hold them off just to stay on the lead lap. In a small pack like this, both lanes are consistent. So, they're both running pretty even. So, I don't think any, either of them are going to contest, like, or even, like, get in front of the other. Here's Final the lap. lap before the stage. Final stage lap in stage one. one. We're probably going to see a photo finish here unless Chris Lilly can get in front or the 81 can get in front. These guys have just kind of do been door to door the last four or five laps. Neither of the neither of them have been given up. I call the caution. Yeah. The yellow flag is out. Let's go. So there is your stage caution. And look at this, the fifty-three. Off he may turn be two. Here. This is these are for big points right here, so yeah. we'll see. Both of these guys need points. Lily really needs the points after a bad Eldora race, but the 81 clears him. This might be the, the move of the stage to win that stage there. Gaston. He didn't go low, though. He didn't block the, or he did. Now that, yeah, now he blocked in the 53 fell in line. I think he's decided he just wants to keep it clean as Michael Gaston going to come off of turn four and win the stage. Chris Lilly's second. second there was an interesting battle for those last few stage positions in the pack behind these guys yeah eighth ninth and tenth Colin Cope got the last stage point Cameron Lahr got 11th Jack Mitchell got 12th but the real deal is the race win so we're gonna get to that yeah. here as we start stage two after I write down <laughs> the top 10 so let me do that As Blaze does that, I'll give you guys a quick reminder of your current top 10 of points. Jackson Steiner's in first, Drake goes in second, Chris Lilly third, Nick Hagee fourth, 
Tony Peterson, 5th. Brian Lilly, 6th. Colin McCoy, 7th. Mason Tyler, 8th. Michael Logan, 9th. Blaze McKinney, 10th. Ethan Laura, 11th. And Nathan Amon, 12th. Those are your current playoff drivers. On the bubble, Caleb Faircloth, 13th. Joseph Cassell, 14th. Nemo Rivera, Ryan Bogey, 16th. So they're going to come to pit road. It's nice. So I'll just let you guys watch those as we, as I uh, do these points here. And I and see if there are any incidents on pit road as well. We've seen them a lot this season, especially at these restricted plate tracks. Where everybody's just so piled up here. Especially right in front of the one, <laughs> and he's managed to get by all of them so far. Yeah. With a busy straight pit road like this, so many cars going in and out of pit stops. Just never know what's going to happen. It's going to be a drag race off pit road, and Gaston will beat Nathan Imanoff for the lead, I believe. Oh, Noel Rivera. Oh, Chris Lilly beat everybody off. So it'll be Lily, Rivera, then Gaston. It's a huge gap between the 53. Yeah, I believe they didn't take any tires. I think the 53 and the 47 Gaston, didn't yeah. take any tires. Either that, Chris. The 53 was so far ahead. I think maybe he took. Oh, and the 47 just took two. Yeah. But whatever they did, they did what the rest of the field didn't. So. Gutsy call, we'll see. You don't really need tires that much here, like a restrictor plate race, so. This track doesn't really eat tires that much, but. You just never know. You always want to have the best pit stop possible. Okay, you're in the prime shape to contend, especially at the last few. All right. Let's get going here in stage number two. So we're going to go green this time by. Based on what you've seen so far, Jack, uh, who's your pick to win or the guy to watch out for here as we go down the wire? Right now, Chris Lilly is definitely showing his dominance, but I think that we see who's in this top 10 here. Jackson Steiner is creeping up in 7th right there. Yeah, too, yeah, so he stop. might be a guy to keep an eye out for. So is the 81, Michael Gaston. He's looking to get another win here in our digital breakout of his uh, slump. Yeah. To the top 10 as well. He's going to need this top... Uh, he's going to need a good finish here after a poor finish at Eldora, so... Eating good finishes, they can't afford to get caught up in any wrecks. We'll see what happens as they go back green this time by. Here we go. Green flag is back in the air, and we're underway for stage two. And so far, we haven't seen any wrecks. So, will we see any? You see a couple contact, a couple of cars hitting the wall. The only really killer thing I can see on tires is if you go too high up near the wall. Those blue and black rim look or curb looking things at the top of the track, those are the caution lights. Yeah. They're not really if your tires, tires run over them. Yeah, that'll, that'll get you loose. That would re be really bad for your tires if you ran over the caution lights. So. No Rivera now out yeah. front. Chris Lilly has dropped way back from that start. He's already lost four, five, six spots, and he is still going back. Now Lilly just dropped off like a rock. He's going to lead the they first lap to of stage two. two. Which is unfortunate because this happened to him at Richmond. He was weak. He dominated the stage. He led the field off pit road. And then just and then lost had it. a terrible restart. And just lost it. And he fell all the way back to, I believe, 10th he finished. We're four wide already. Colin Cope, three wide for the lead. With help from Cameron Lara, who was up front earlier in the race. Almost four wide there. Could be four wide. Jackson Steiner is right yet. in the middle of that. Your points Steiner's leader. Steiner's making his movement up towards the front. He needs as many good finishes as he can get. His points lead. I thought it looked like he might have had a wreck in the back. I didn't see any though. I don't think so. 
caution light to be on, like we said. <laughs> yeah. Four wide right for the lead. It looks like C Cameron Lara will clear everyone, and he'll go to the front of the pack. But he blocks the nine. Here comes a big run on the bottom from Joseph Costello. Costello with a big run with help from Blaze McKinney. And they're four Racing wide. So tightly together. The 49. Look at all those cars making contact. They're door to door and they're now. still staying straight. Matthew Dutcher's up in the mix. Caldega. E. Peterson, he's 50 Five points. wide almost. Oh, they're making contact in the middle there. Jack Mitchell is bouncing in between the uh, double zero and the 48. Up front, it's he Costello. A window, but he managed to hold on to that car. Just Costello has the front of the field. But Blaze McKinney has a run with help from Reese Kupski on the inside lane. And they're making contact off turn four. Matthew Dutcher. Dutcher's way down there. He's trying to get some help from the 49, or 45, that is. We're wide again. Two by two. Looks like we have a car in the wall. I heard there's some scraping. I think somebody got in the wall. No, I guess not. Oh, the 48 oh. almost lost it. He got in the apron and just about lost it in front of the field. It's the 45, not the 48. 45. I get my f I, I missed his messed his number up last time too. I said 49. Can't get his number right. Whatever. Costello continues to lead the field. Here comes Connor Hudson. He's looking to exercise some demons at this track. <laughs> Barrel rolled at this point in the track here, right off turn four. I think in season three. And he's uh, racing up to the front now. Season three or four, he just lost his car. Barrel rolled down that front stretch grass, and ever since then, he's been looking for some vindication. Five wide almost. Cause there's the wreck. Oh, there they go. Oh, they, here they go. The 97 upside down in front of the field. The 44 up on his lid. Chris Lilly involved. Drake Gosland. All the top point leaders involved God, in this uh, one. Some Jack lower Mitchell. Guys involved as well. Mitchell was involved. Bokanowski. He's involved. This car's come to a dead stop. Then 88's right in the 59 as he just disappears. The 28 is involved. Both uprise cars. Chris Lilly and Matthew Dutcher. Dutcher doesn't look like he has that much damage, but now he's stuck on the. Uh, he's, he's gonna need a tow. Yeah, I saw both the of these guys gonna need a tow. Like he had that much damage either. Tr you so should have just told me to say that. I, I could have just said that for you. I should have told you to say that, but it really <laughs> does not look like he has that much damage. Preston Cope involved, your pole sitter. The fit 97 went barrel rolling over the field, and he still is rolling away. 43 involved, and that was the big one we were all waiting for. Yeah, we knew it was only gonna be a matter of time. Uh, 81 involved, stage winner. Well, cars on pit road. Mason Tower, left side damage. But up here, is, everybody's good. I'd keep an eye on the, what the 36 does because he, his car didn't visibly look like it had yeah, that much damage either. Yeah, I think he got stuck on the banking as well. His car, I don't think it was stuck on the banking either. His car, it was getting towed to pit road, I think, because it teleported Yeah, he away. was stuck on the banking. So let's see what happened. Barely. It started with the 97. You saw it first. I didn't see it until. Yeah, I saw the I saw the 97 go low. He was all the way down there. 81 got in the right side of the 44. Making contact. That that was just how they've been running all race long. 97 just had nowhere to go. Same with the 28. And this is when they come back up in front of the field. Yeah, it's another incident of when they just come back up. They try to rejoin traffic and. Jelani Howell involved. Mitchell has nowhere to go. Bokanowski nowhere to go. Brody Kupski involved. There's a 44 going upside down. On his, he was he was riding on his front bumper for a while there, and then came slamming down on the pavement. Goslin almost went over. So it's like a couple more hits there. I don't really see any scrapes or anything on his car. He was the able front, to get it back. The front up hood is pretty pushed up on that one car though. I think that should affect him that much arrow rise, although he might be burning the rest of this race without a hood. It's going board with Mitchell here as he just kinda was right in the middle of this as they came back on the track. This is where the incident happens and just nowhere to go with all those cars around in front of you. It doesn't look like the hood is actually it's pushed buckled in up. that much. Up, but it, there's just, it doesn't really look like it, it's much damage that could affect that car too much. 
know here at this track any kind of damage could be too much. Scoring both so Matthew Guys like the 36 are in similar situations. They just have a bit of damage, but it's not enough, really that much to keep them out of contending, so. She took a couple of bumps like that. He just can't save his car. He's careening through the grass. His tire, your front tires aren't going to turn when you try to do that. When you try to make a sharp turn through the grass, that just won't happen, so. Do nothing Gozlin could do. That hurts Gozlin, too. He was second in points. Yes. Lily was involved. The top three in points were all involved in this wreck. Steiner went upside down. All of these guys that were involved, though, I really think it's just... They just got a couple bumps, maybe a couple yeah, of damage. Yeah, but the 97, though, he went upside down. A lot of these guys just Seven, had I nowhere to really go. Anyone else could continue. Well, they're going to continue, but they're not going to be up to speed or anything. Yeah. 26 did a great job getting through that as well. Maybe yeah, they will be up to speed, you just never know. Yeah. We've seen some guys have some damage like that and been perfectly up to speed, yeah. so. So we're back on the yellow. And the 60 of Joseph Castello, the, I believe, is being scored your leader. Yeah, the guys are still repairing their cars on pit road. Caleb Faircloth, we do have some cars left down. Guys the 44, the 43, and the 94. I didn't even see that. Conrad Acosta again. Looks like a mechanical a issue. issue. He was not involved in that wreck, I don't think. So he so just had a mechanical issue on that car. Maybe we could go back and see what happened to him. I don't remember seeing him. Oh, yeah, he may have, may have been involved in that accident. It's the front of his car. This is after the caution, so he was still in the pack. These guys are trying to settle down here. He may have just blown an inch in here. I don't see anything wrong with the issue. It's listed as a header issue, so it's definitely something with the front of the car. When everybody came down pit road, do you have a pit road crash? Oh, this is the this is the after the end of the stage. So this is after the end of stage one. And he gets his pit road service. Not sure what happened to him here. Comes out of pit road. Nice and easy. Did he have an a accident on pit road? Or it's, I think it's just a mechanical issue. We'll see here. We just want to be certain. Yeah, he just slows down. Yeah, right there. He just he checks up. Look at how all the cars that got by him on pit road, too. So. Yeah. Just had a bad pit stop and something went wrong in the car and apparently it was bad enough that he had to go to the garage too. Yeah, so had an issue, so another disappointing season. finish. That's been his season, unfortunately. So that's his second last place finish in a row for him. Let's see how these guys that were involved in that accident are gonna fare here. Mitchell is back out Look. there. The damage has been fixed on his hood. 41 so has been should, fixed. I think the 1 should be up to speed. The 41 should be up to speed. The 09, the, 57. 09. A lot of these guys should be they okay. Should all... But back here, I'm not sure. Like Steiner, he's destroyed. F the 53, the visual damage has been fixed, but I think internally there's got to be something wrong with that car. Same with the 80, 81. 33, I'm not sure. Or 36, my bad. I'm not sure about either. Like that much damage, but it could be some internal issues. Oh, back green. I didn't even see that. All right. We're back on our way. Costello is out front with Blaze McKinney in second. I remember seeing the nine in between the 60 and the 97. So where did the nine go? He's, He's in the, the pits. He went to pit road. He probably, I think he went to he, pit road. He may have had an start. issue. He may have had an issue there. So another issue, maybe a mechanical issue. For the nine car now. Went, I think he went to pit road while they were going yeah. green. Here comes the 42, defending champ. To the inside. Has had a disappointing season so far. Being the defending champion. Has not won yet. He's not really ran that well. But he's to the lead now. Anybody can win this race. We're going to come to 11 laps to go. He's 29th in points. So yeah. if he wants to have a shot at defending his title, he better step it up quick. Good way to do so. Five wide already here on the restart. Uh -oh. The 99. 
goes all the way on the bottom. That's Ryan Bogey. Costello. Oh, we got loose there. Everyone's getting loose. You got to watch out. Guys need to back off. They don't want to get involved in more than one wreck. Yeah. See, these guys up here like Mitchell, Kupski, um, the 14, the 57, the 09. All these guys are still in it, even in being involved in that wreck. I think the one just shoved someone out of his way to go low. I think they just shot out. to the inside there. And up front, Tony Peterson in the 45 going to go to the front of the pack. Oh, someone else go low. I guess not. Along with whatever it, it did, it worked out. Along with the 77 here. Good battle up front. Blaze McKinney's still up here as well in the 87. The 16 the clipped the wall there. The, 90, the 1 and the 90 were helping each other. Now the 1's got his teammate right in front of him. He's he not going to push him. He's going to go to the inside. The 87 was actually looking high. Get in line with the leaders. The 1, though. 90 gets pushed help. high. And he got pushed high. The one's going to have a chance at the lead. Just have a scrape on that right side, but that's not affecting him at all. I think a lot of those cars have that scrape, actually. Yeah. On our Hudson, he's working his way up there. Tony Peterson, the leader, almost had More some contact. contact. Five, five wide. wide in two rows. Watch out here. They're going to they're gonna <laughs> make some contact. Some guys are in the wall, two cars or three cars are in the wall. Everybody's checking up on the top. I think, I think we're going to have more than a little contact. <laughs> the 7, That's the 46, and another car got in the wall there. I think they can run 4 wide okay, but 5 wide definitely some, raises some red flags there. In more ways than one. Like, Starting to calm down up front. They're three oh, wide for the lead. Laps to go. Ryan Bogey just took the leaders three wide, and neither of them have help. So all three hey, of them are just kind of just racing. Only a few laps to go. I think now's a good time for some crank it up. All right, let's let's do this. I don't know the button that turns us on. I think it's that one. It's not. Which button did I use for this? There it is. All right, let's do this. Here we go. And the one up in the wall with the 90. Saved it. They, saved they it. stay saved straight, it. but they went in the wall, and that's going to check up half the pack. I think they may have enough time to maybe catch up, but I just don't know. Yeah, but they're they pretty far back. It. That was a great save by the one car. That lined our crank it up a little early, but the 99 of Ryan Bogey has taken the lead, and he is hanging on to it. McKinney in the 87 back in third, along with the 26 of Cisco, who just barely got to the inside of him there. Brain Cisco has also had a pretty disappointing season, but he's looking to turn it I around. I think that pack actually still has a chance, not just because of the fact that they could catch up on the draft, but pit stops could come up yeah. too. Yeah, we have seven laps to go, and we could see pit stops. Braden Cisco making a move for a second. Cisco starting to make a charge to the front. He might have a chance for the lead here. 42 to the inside, three wide for the lead. Backpack is gonna have to do some serious work in the yeah. end now. Here comes Nate Polite into the mix. Caleb Nelson still up here. Matthew Dutcher is there, but he is a lap down, so he is not in the race for the win here. See if anyone comes to pit road. I think with that caution Plus in the middle wreck. of stage two, I think that kind of gave them enough room to make it to the end. Never know though, so we'll see what happens. We're gonna be too happy with whoever moved the one car. I think that the 90 just got into his right rear, and they both got up into the wall there. Still some incredible saves, but three by three. Caleb Nelson in the three car. 
to the inside. He'll take the lead. He's looking for his first career win along with Nick Bingham. He's also looking for his first win. Much, we're pretty much in the territory now where a wreck would end the race. Yeah, right here. So they, they got to keep it, keep it clean as we come to the end. They can wreck on the last lap. I don't really care, but keep it clean yeah, till they then. They got to keep it clean. They're doing exactly what you, you're telling them not to do. Yeah, they're going four wide and they're racing pretty aggressively. Two rookies side by side for the lead. Nick Bingham. His only win, like non-points win, was at the second Daytona duel. So 57 is up there. He's currently yeah. 30. Preston Cope has a chance up here. Both of the Cope brothers up in the front pack. Points. Three wides he's for the lead. He's a good run. So we'll Jordan Strunk for the lead, and he'll take it. But he's got Preston Cope behind him, along with he's got a veteran that's been Very good at this, these plate tracks. Breathing down his neck here stages of this race and I just I take it back I don't think that backpack's gonna have enough time I didn't realize yeah. they were separating that much so Cope gets pushed to the middle by the rookie Noel Rivera in the 47 car and they're still side by side for the lead the 25 of Bingham put the crossover on the 98 and he's gonna go back to the front Bingham's looking Cope for his the middle. win what a move by Colin Cope and he might take it to the inside for the lead here Cope is right there as we come to three to go here at Armory Digital. 26 clipped the wall there, but we're still green. Cope is all over the back of the 98. A two-time champion behind a rookie. This is uh, kind of a dream battle right here for the 25. He wants to have, he want, he would, it would really make some headlines if he were able to hold off the defending champ. But, but he is, he's not gonna be able to do it here in turn three. First and he's not gonna do it. Can he have some help there from the 98? We'll see if Strunk can get to the top, get to his back bumper, but he's not going to. Get to the inside. Up here in the front, the front four are kind of like separated as we come to two laps to go. Nobody's really packed up as like they were a couple laps ago. Benson Pedden up here, three wide for second. He came out of nowhere. He could try to win his second race of the season and join Chris Lilly on that, on that chart. Nate Polite's up here as well on the inside lane. Oh, but here comes... Yeah, that was Nate Polite, my bad. Yeah, Nate Polite in that PewDiePie-sponsored car, so to PewDiePie. And he is second on the inside <laughs> lane. He is pushing the 77. This is where we have two laps to go. If you're on the inside lane, you have a chance to win this race because the outside lane just hasn't been up to speed lately. The guy on the lower most part is Blaze McKinney. Yeah, he, has he has a no big move around him. Colin Cope is doing a great I job. And here, pit stops, pit stops with pit stops. coming to the white flag. Two cars come to pit road. The, you. <laughs> the leader, Colin Cope and Blaze McKinney come down. And the front three are going to be single foul as we come to the white flag. See if they make any more pit stops. Benson Pettin is out front. Nick Bingham going for second. It's going to be a battle between these three. And Lester Rivera can get a, pip, get a big push. Can they make it on fuel? Bingham trying to get his first career win, but he does not have the help. Nobody's helping him. Here comes Rivera. Gonna have the help. He's going to have to go low to the bottom when he goes to the corner. Bogey and Rivera have a run. Bingham is there. Can he get a push from Ryan Bogey? He's off the pace. He's coming to pit road. And that's going to be the race. Benson Pennon going to get his second win of the season. Here he and comes. The 99. Here comes the 99. For second, he's not going to get there. Benson Pennon gets his second win of the year at Armor Digital. In a fuel, in a fuel race, I didn't see it happening, but it did. And Pettin holds off Jordan Strunk and Ryan Bogey to win his second race of the season. I thought it was gonna be a major shakeup of the points, as it was, but then you got the guys coming to pit road. <laughs> they slow down here down the back straightaway. Strunk was so close, back in second, but they were so spread out there at the end, nobody really could get a push on Benson Pettin. The finishing results. I some I think some guys got better finishes than they were anticipating, and some of them got worse finishes. Yeah, Jackson than Steiner, after flipping, he finishes 21st, and he does finish in front of Chris Lilly and Drake Gosland, so he should be able to hang on to that points lead. Katie, it was a tire puncture. It looks like I can't read that puncture. Maybe when he got in that wall, the 90, maybe the tire, tire went out. Let's go back and see what happened. Or he, maybe 
something within his car got a puncture. I don't think it was this lap. It was this lap right here, I think. It's this lap after. No, it wasn't this lap. It was this lap. So the one actually got in the right rear of the 90, and they both went in the wall hard. They're lucky that they both saved went in the it. Wall hard. Yeah, they did save it, but that made so many people have to check up. Looks like the 90 had a tire go down from that. Momentum going, maybe they could have caught back up, but the fact that so many people had to check up. You see the right just front just kind of dragging on. there. Definitely had a right front go down, it looks like. From that accident, but... So it definitely was a tire issue. And that Mitchell otherwise comes away with a solid top 20. So, it was a pretty exciting race. Benson Penn comes home with the win. Kind of came out of nowhere. After the 42, went to pit road. And uh, after pitting, as they came to the checkered flag, um, who was that? that I think the, who was that that came to pit road as they came off of four? Um, I don't know why the, I can't think about that. It was the was it the twenty five? Yeah, it was twenty five, and he ends up finishing twenty third after being in second at the white flag. Heartbreak for him. Heartbreak for Blaze McKinney too. Yeah, he was up there as well. Didn't have enough left in it to go for the win. It's unfortunate, but that's racing. I'm just gonna have to next week. And speaking of next week, we will be famous Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Brickyard 400. Ends our little string of night races here, so it'll be fun to go to Indy. It's a good track. Have a lot of fun. We'll see you guys then, though. Um, I'll probably post the points tonight on Instagram. You guys will probably see that. Uh, so we'll see you guys this weekend for Indy. See you guys then. Bye, guys. Bye.